My next guest tonight made headlines in 2011 after he shot dead a polar bear that had already claimed the life of a London schoolboy. Spike Reed was hailed a hero then. Six years on, he's making headlines again, but under much happier circumstances, as one of the first men to paddleboard down the entire length of the River Ganges. And he joins me now. Uh, Spike, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us. You've brought your paddle with you. Of course, we talked about that in just, in just a moment. But um, take us back to 2011. We have to talk about that was such a sad, sad story. Um, it was the 17-year-old Horatio Chapel um, who was unfortunately killed by the polar bear. I mean, that must have been such an appalling thing for you to witness and have to deal with. It was a very tragic uh, loss indeed for all the team there mm. uh, and for his family and uh, very difficult to get over the loss of such a uh, mm. wonderful teammate. That was your quick thinking that you really had to act and do something to protect the others there, didn't you, as well? Uh, that my role was uh, there as leader was uh, mm. to protect those team as, uh, members as best I could. Um, so I was just uh, doing my role as team leader up there. Exactly. Well, it, it hasn't put you off because you've been doing so many other things, I know, in the last couple of years. And the latest, of course, was paddleboarding down the Ganges. Um, how challenging was that? Because you're one of very, very few people who's done it. Yep, it was, uh, it was a very challenging journey, a mm. uh, journey of 1,800 miles, uh, propelling ourselves along with this... Uh, with the paddle there. <laughs> ...on top of a stand-up paddleboard. Yes, we can see you standing in those stills there, yeah. It's like a, it's like a giant surfboard, mm. um, which is the uh, fastest-growing water sport in the world, yeah. but uh, probably also one of the most misunderstood sports in the UK. Yeah, I mean, you had to face incredible risks as well. I mean, crocodiles, sharks even? Uh, there's an incredibly rare shark, um, and uh, the species of crocodile that are interested in eating us, luckily mm. for us, they are rare as well. So we yeah. didn't have any run-ins with those. Just a bit of a run-in with a snake, um, but it didn't attack me, wow. luckily. What makes you want to do this kind of thing? Uh, <laughs> so the, the aim of the journey was to raise awareness for the challenges facing the River Ganges. It's mm. the most polluted big river in the world. Mm. And there's a huge amount of single-use plastic and human waste that mm. ends up in that river. And the single-use plastic then ends up in the ocean and unfortunately then our food chain. Mm. Uh, so we wanted to raise awareness for that and hopefully help people uh, understand the need to clean up the Ganges yep. and other waterways around the world, including the Thames here in London. Well, yeah, you make a good point there, Spike. So uh, very briefly, what is your next challenge then? What's next for you? Uh, so the next challenge is continuing to get that message out for, mm -hmm. for cleaner waters and also to inspire young people, the next generation, to find the right challenge for them, prepare mm. for it, and then go out there and get it but being risk aware, but yep. not risk averse. Well, maybe you can focus on the Thames spike. That would be very good. Thank you so much for coming in to talk to me and thank you for bringing the paddle as well. Thank, thank you very you. much.